Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Uh, I'm James. I'm Tanya. And uh, we're going to play some more homebrew games on the yeah. Atari 2600. <laughs> and um, <coughs> Excuse me. Where this is the game this is the place where we play new games on classic consoles at 60 frames a second because I neglected to mention that last time. Oh. And in inevitably got the comments. Oh, it's all but you screwed up and your video is all crazy uh. and there's frames missing and it's like no, just click on this the little button because sometimes people watch it in a window and it's embedded. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And what YouTube usually does in that case is it sets it to just maximum 30 uh, frames a second. If in a you, window. Yeah, if it's windowed, like in a... See, I learned something in, today. Like yeah, if it's on Facebook or the Atari Age mm -hmm. forums, it, if it's in a window, it seems to max out if you have it set to auto. Okay. But if it's by itself in the YouTube environment, it maxes out at 60. So whenever I paste it in somewhere, it's like, oh my God, somebody's going to watch it at 30 and it's going to look like crap. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, so I had to do this long post in Facebook for that person to explain, mm -hmm. oh, the Atari runs at 60 frames a second and it goes into my Frame Meister at 60 frames a second, mm -hmm. which upscales at 720p. And then it goes to my computer through a video capture card, which goes to 1080 and the 720s in a window. And then it goes out to the internet at 1080p 60. Yes. So, yes. And that's why it looks so wonderful when you're looking at it at 60 frames a second. <laughs> and uh, hello, hi Dan, everyone. Hi, Mr. Fix. <laughs> Everybody's saying hi to yes. us. Welcome to the show, yes. everyone. Yes. I hope you're all having a good Friday. Yes. I'm home from work, so I'm much happier now than I was yeah, a few hours usually, ago. So. Usually people are somewhat happy on Fridays. I Most am. people work Monday to Friday. Some yeah. people work the weekend. Oh, yeah. 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 Everyone's work week's a little different. But for me, yeah. I am I actually am one of these weird people who actually follows Monday the traditional to Friday. Monday to Friday. 8.30 to 4.30. 4.30. Yeah. Just offset from the 9 to 5. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, no, I'm very happy now that it's Friday. <laughs> and it's Victoria Day in Canada, so we have our three-day weekend. Ah, yes. Holiday I Monday. Think yeah, we have a holiday Monday. I think uh, down in the States, you guys have Memorial Day in a couple weeks. In so, a couple weeks, yeah. yeah. So, um, We're going to be playing three games today. Uh, Kung Fu Combat, Strip Off 2, which is not what it thinks it sounds okay. like. <laughs> <laughs> and I paused, drinking my drink there for a second. No. And <laughs> Nabber Rob, which gotcha. is a very strange name for a game. Nabber Rob, so, okay. But we'll find all about it in a bit and i want to thank the twitch subscribers of which there is a new one that subscribed just before the show yeah. uh i want to thank charles and check gretems ground trooper ice boasted johnny wc 23 mr fix who's back in the chat after yeah. um having some he went to the hospital and uh he put it in the chat here i can't remember what he had removed or fixed there recovering from bladder surgery oh, well Ouch. i hope you feel better yeah that's, I hope that's you feel a rough better. that's a rough uh uh, yeah, thing go. to have to go through. So. Yeah, so he's missed a couple Good shows. Good luck with your recovery. Yeah. Um, Nathan Strum, RC70, Retro Happy Hour, and the new subscriber, Sir Catlegs, ah. uh, who subscribed just before the show today. And he is the guy who did the music and audio On for Galaga, Galaga. Which was awesome. Yeah. Excellent job. <laughs> and uh, Spiceware, <laughs> S. Ramirez, 2008, and Tiki Dan K. I want to say nice. hello to everybody who is in the chat as well. Yeah. Sir Catlegs is here. Yes. A quite, a, quite a big group in the chat, yep. which is nice Dan, to see. Dan AVC, Mr. Fix, Dianoid, uh, Ice Posta, RC70, uh, Luri Fidoruk, who uh, changed his name from something else because <laughs> uh, he wanted to use his real name. Uh, Militant Buddhist one, and everybody else who's yes, lurking. Yes, who we not might have missed, but chatting. yes, yeah, yeah. And Mr. Fix says he is feeling better. Oh, good. I'm so glad that is good. That. He's good enough to watch the show. Yes, and that's all that matters. <laughs> that's all that matters. That happens. you're here to watch the show, <laughs> and uh, you can support the show and subscribe for free if you have Amazon Prime and link it to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. Absolutely free. Oh, yeah. And. Oh, yeah, Mr. Fix says, thanks to all who is creating Galaga. Yes. And, uh, yeah, I want to do a little recap from last show, which was a massive show. So many people tuned in, mm. of course, for the mystery game. Mm -hmm. um, they were very, uh, they were anticipating it quite a bit. And it was a new game, Galaga, by Champ Games. And mm. I think as soon as the, 
the name Galaga went out. I think a bunch of people posted it all over the internet, and people came flooding in to watch the show, which is wonderful. And uh, it was was really great. So we had a lot Amazing of... Amazing turnout. Great yeah. numbers, lots yeah. of people chatting, lots of excitement. Of course, I was very excited as well. <laughs> if you go back... I saw watch. your clip of, of your response, yeah. <laughs> somebody somebody clipped out like the 10 seconds when I turned on the game and I made this silly noise <laughs> in my excitement, of course, of, of the game Galaga. And as you can see on the uh, webcam there, there's the Galaga ship mm -hmm. on top of the Atari 2600, left mm -hmm. over from the other, game, uh, the other day uh, playing the game. And uh, after only one day posting it on YouTube, it's in our top 10 of most watched shows. Nice. <laughs> so it's just skyrocketed. Very nice. And yeah. everybody's in huge anticipation. An anticipation. 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 For the release of the upcoming demo version of Excellent. it. Excellent, yeah. Um, because um, John Shampoo is going to be releasing a demo version of it. It may be hmm. time limited. It may be level limited. Hmm. Um, it may loop around, it may be score limited, but um, Aardvark did that with yeah. its game, and it did a five five levels five level loop, yeah. and it gives you which which you played idea. played indefinitely. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was yeah because it's only level five and yeah. it just doesn't get any just harder. Keeps going. Yeah, um, but it gives you a very good um, overview of what the game is. It is mm. the final game. It's just mm. you can only take it to so much. So mm -hmm. I think it's a good compromise. Because we talked before about how games should be released or how yeah. people think games should be released. And I think it's a nice compromise between everybody gets the game yeah, and you can sell the game as well. And yeah. people won't be like, oh, I already have the game. I won't buy it. Yeah, yeah. They'll still want to buy the game yeah. and I, they'll get I, a taste I of it. Agree. And I think it might even sell it better because people can try it and play it. <laughs> Rather than it, holding it off. I, I have to admit, it reminds me vaguely of shareware on, yes. on floppy disks. That, where you get the first level for yeah. cheap on the floppy disk to try and entice you to buy the whole game. That's the model. Yeah. That, that is the model. Yeah. Going back to shareware for shareware. the Atari 2600. <laughs> People can pass around the ROM. <laughs> and if yeah. you want to actually get the game, you yeah. order the game. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, is Galaga going to cart? Oh, yes. Oh yes, it is going to cart. <laughs> and Champ be. Games, all of his games have got uh, box releases, so I'm sure it's going to get the deluxe box release, uh, Nathan's Drums, where we're going to do the artwork again for it, and it's going to look amazing, of mm. course. And uh, yeah, so everybody's looking forward to that. It'll be, it's up in three games. So he's going to release uh, Wizard of War first, then Avalanche, and then... Uh, Galaga. Wow, okay. Um, but he's done the other two. So, yeah, they're like 99% done, mm -hmm. the other two. So, mm -hmm. um, maybe they'll be spaced out a bit. So, uh, I would maybe say this year, maybe for mm -hmm. a certain uh, Portland Game. retro I was gonna gaming say, expo. That would be very nice. It's probably the right, <laughs> a right amount of time. Yeah. Um, maybe release the other two in like a few months and then the big Galaga release for Portland mm -hmm. Retro Gaming Expo. Oh, did Pixel come in for a he, second? He was, he, you could see him by the... Oh, yeah. okay. Mr. Fix said hi, Atari, Pixel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Pixel's all recovered too. He went into the hospital yeah, as well. Yeah, he did. He, he did. had uh, two teeth removed. Pulled. Pulled. Yeah. But he's up and about and running around. And, and, and chasing and attacking his brother. So <laughs> he'll be, he'll come through like a gigantic hurricane at some point in time. So, yeah, yeah, you'll see him. He's, he's in very good spirits. Yes. <laughs> um, and I'll be doing another gameplay of Galaga coming up mm -hmm. as well. And this one's going to be a little different because I've um, loaded MAME up on my computer. Mm. Um, and that's why I have this little gamepad here. And what I'm going to do is a side-by-side -side screen comparison of Galaga Arcade and Galaga 2600. Mm. So I can, you know, do some playtesting. Cool. And see how things are the same and how they're different. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, do that for uh, John Shampoo. And everybody else can see it while I'm doing it. Yeah. So I'll be able to pause MAME and see how it looks in mm. the 2600. Mm. And, I mean, there's going to be some limitations. He's not going to be able to implement absolutely everything. Oh, no, no. And I mean, that's understandable. Yeah. But if things are going to be a little off and they're fixable, then why not why do not? that? Why not? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't think licensing is going to be a concern. Um, Namco is not 
you know, troubled with Mappy so far. So, mm. you know, buy early. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> yeah. But no, um, who knows? But, you know, we'll just see. We'll see, I guess. Um, they haven't been too, too bad so far. Um, also, um, yeah, I'll have both of the games on the screen at the same time. Mm -hmm. Like, not switching back and forth. It'd be both on the same time. Um, so you'll need another person to play. Yes, that time. would be very nice. helpful. Yes, well, yes. it would be confusing. Not necessarily. Not necessarily, but I I kind of want to do one on the, like, do a thing on the arcade. And, and you could do, I guess. No, you could just do it in parallel. Yeah, that's true. Myself but, or Erlen or Darcy or but, whoever's around. Yeah. You know, I'm going to be doing it on that screen playing on that screen both of them can't be on that screen is what i need to yeah what but I mean still to say. you could still show them side by side oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. um cool. so another big thing is coming up on june 28th we're going to be doing a 12-hour marathon mm -hmm. and the ball is rolling now for that mm -hmm. uh it's a 12-hour marathon fundraiser for stella mm -hmm. and stella is the atari 2600 um emulator for um, Windows and Linux and and uh, Mac, and it is an amazing emulator and it helps uh, developers make their games and provides a way for people to play homebrew and old school games as well. But you know, it's people do it in their off time, mm -hmm. and if they get some help, they'll be able to dedicate more resources mm -hmm. to it. Um, so we thought we'd do a fundraiser for it. And, cool. and torture ourselves at the same time. <laughs> no, it's not torture it's not playing torture. 12 hours of games. No, it's not. So it's a good time to catch up on games, um, finish games that we wanted to finish, play games more that we didn't get to play, mm. and do try and challenge ourselves for high scores, mm -hmm. um, and for you guys to challenge us, uh, send challenges to us to try and do. One of them is the, that I want to do is try and get the highest score possible on Draconian while staying on level one. <laughs> because you can fly around infinitely and oh, shoot ships, right? Oh, that's true without actually completing the, um, the Completing goal. the level. Yeah, and the, the level. And the goal is to shoot all the bases. But if you don't shoot mm. all the bases, you stay on the same level. But it's also dangerous because if you stay too long, the spy ship comes on and he flies away, you're on red alert. And... You just get bombarded, bombarded by ships. But Continuously, yeah. You yeah. can get high scores if you're good enough that way. That's true. So that's like that's one of the kind of challenges. challenges. Okay. And of course, we'll be playing yeah. Galaga and and all of the other amazing games. Mappy and Mappy mm -hmm. and all. Wall all Jump the games. Ninja. Wall Jump definitely Ninja. Definitely Wall Jump Ninja. I love that, Wall Jump Ninja. That's definitely on the schedule because somebody beat my world record. Oh no! <laughs> by two <laughs> points or two. rooms. Yeah. And I have to get it back. <laughs> and I have a strategy that I think I'll be able to get it back. Okay. So we're going to try for that. And the donate and we're asking for donations, not not just monetary, but physical items too. Mm. Um especially from developers who have extra copies of their games or posters or like duplicates of posters they have or things like that. And the first donations have already come in from uh Daryl Spice Jr. Oh, very Spiceware. Nice. Yeah. Um the items he has donated so far, um, a Draconian, complete in box, mm. signed. All of these are going to be signed by him. Mm. Uh, Medieval Mayhem in a rare clear shell cartridge, see-through. Um, cool. Space Rocks, complete in box with poster. I think he means the poster in the box and not like a big poster, but we'll see. He's going to send mm. me uh, pictures. Uh, Stay Frosty 2. Um, a limited edition cart of that, number 51, uh, plus a manual. All these are signed. And Estella's stocking, cart number 153, signed. Um, and I may even bid on some of these myself, because these are, are awesome items. Yeah. <laughs> especially like the Medieval Mayhem Rare Clear. Are you allowed? You're cart. running it, though. All the money goes you can just to the get same a ringer. Place. You can just get a ringer to put Either donations way. in for you. Yeah. Ringer or me, you know. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll be driving up the price. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody <coughs> out there me. has, uh, is that getting in the shot? Yes, yeah. it is. Oh I've no. I'm having trouble. What, what? It's, it's falling it's, down. It keeps, yeah. And I've tightened it so tight. I have to do some maintenance. That's like this. every, uh, every poorly filmed, uh, yeah. 
boom is in the shot. Uh, yeah, I have oh. to. Oh no! The that's dead one back fell off. Yeah, that's not needed. <laughs> um, if that's what you call it. What do you call that? Not that one. That's when, uh, more of a windscreen. Yeah, the dead the wombat. dead wombat is like for actual wind. Um, that one's for minor. P uh, it's like a little foam covering. Called something else, but it's for the your I just like your I just like it. it's called a dead wombat. So. Yes. <laughs> Where did I get that Galaga ship on my twenty six hundred? We bought this at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Yes. Um, from some people called. You can actually put that. Yeah, yeah. I will. Um, uh, people called the Wooden Arcade. Um, so just search that on the internet, and uh, you can. Buy that. Oh, there you go. Actually, I'll show it here. Much better. Yeah. Um, and there's there's like four in the set. I think we bought three of them one year, and they ran out of the other one. And we went back two years later. And, and I think he, I think he gave us it. one or something. And they, and yeah, because yeah, he just gave nice. it to us, yeah. or, or very cheap anyway. So, yeah. and there's another one on my wall over there yeah. as well. It's uh, this, but in purple. Yeah. Yeah, so I have the complete set of that, unless he makes some more. Because I don't have a bumblebee. <gasps> I hope he makes a bumblebee. Yeah, we'll have to get it next The time. yellow one. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, because we'll be down in Portland Retro Gaming Expo in no October? November? Yeah, something like that. November, yeah, I think. Yeah. I think. Um, mm. So, yes, so that will be on June 28th from uh, noon to midnight. Um, all the hosts will be here, all four of us. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, we by that time, we will have the Quadtari adapter and also the quad games made by uh, Nathan Tolbert. Mm. Um, so it's a four, four joystick adapter that plugs into the Atari. Um, and he has some four player games, including Joust four player. Wow. And combat four player. So cool. there's four tanks on the screen and four jousts. Oh all, nice. All going at the, each other. The yeah. joust yeah, that's gonna be that's brutal. gonna be a brutal game. <laughs> yeah. Especially with human players, because yeah. they're a little bit that, more. That should be fun though. That should be fun. And I'll be have I'll have by then an updated version of Galaga. Close mm. to the final version, so it'll fix that bug of mm. not and your capture chip disappearing. And yeah. Not coming back till the next screen. Mm. Yeah. So let's get into it with our first game, which is Kung Fu Combat, which we have played on the show before. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yep, yes, yep. yes, yes. I remember this one. So let me uh, get that going. Boom. Okay. Let's grab a joystick. And as tempting as... Uh, there it is. Galaga is on that list of games to play on the screen there. Uh, we will have to restrain ourselves from playing it. It's at the bottom there. Continuous. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Galaga! No, we won't play that. <laughs> uh, we'll play that later in another show. Um, Kung Fu Combat. Hmm. And this is the final cartridge release version. It's not available in uh, on the Atari H forums or anywhere because it's going to cart. Oh, I see. But I have uh, secured bestowed, a copy. Been bestowed this very uh, nicely from Michael Thomason from Good Deal Games, who is going to be mm. selling it. Um, so I will give this to you while I. I go don't remember over how to play stuff. it again. So it is. Um, I remember it being a challenge. Yeah, you fight, and each the. I'll, I'll let me load up the moves first so that we can, uh, so you can actually play it. So it's a combination of the button and up, down, back, forth, left, right. Um, so the controls. To jump up is up. Uh, jump and kick forward is diagonal up. Uh, punch is button and forward. Which one are you? You're the white. I, right? I'm the one who's not doing very well. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the five points and he's got the 18 points. Oh, oh, and Ground can... Trooper just subscribed. Thank you very much. Oh, nine months. Congratulations. And the next thing you type will have that little nine, Z9 beside it. Oh, Drexal is in the chat. He couldn't make it today. He's usually on Fridays, but he is with us in spirit. Um, welcome, Drex. And that's Darcy, if you didn't know. <laughs> I just assumed everybody knew his nickname on the internet. Why would you? Why uh, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't you? In spirit and text. Yes, he is in spirit and text. 
Uh, high kick is button and diagonal up in direction facing. Uh, low kick is bi uh, button and diagonal down in the direction facing. So very, very straightforward. Not really. Yeah. It's a really weird... And you lost. It's, it's a really weird control. I, I, <laughs> I, I just, I don't know. I think it's, I think there's something that's just deeply unsatisfying about jumping by hitting the up on the joystick. I know. And I haven't put together my joystick yet. I have a joystick. <clears throat> I ordered a joystick that has an extra button that you can assign to the up direction so that this type of, this exact type of game that you can use the second button How for do jumping. How turn around again? Uh, it is uh, down. Oh, that is just the weirdest <laughs> thing in the world. Well, you're limited by an Atari joystick, right? There's, it's, you, a lot of these early games like this had two joysticks. I think Karate Champ had two joysticks. And, of course, modern ones have like eight buttons. So there has to be con concessions made for an Atari 2600. Oh, Ground Trooper just got here, been dealing with IT issues all day, and I'm my own IT guy. Not a fun Friday. Well, at least you have nobody, you know, bitching you out for not doing your job because you're the IT guy. But you probably still have a boss. Um, okay, so game one, which you're playing. One player, players reset to starting position after a score. Oh, no, it's not, is it? It's not resetting. What? These guys, you're not resetting after you score a point, right? No. It's just continuous play. No. Okay, game number two. It, players do not reset. Do I have this on... Oh, I think I've done the wrong difficulty. That's maybe why. No, still doing it. Okay. Maybe got it backwards. Maybe that'll be corrected in the final uh, controls. Um, games 1 and 2 have three levels. Level 1, fight computer AI to 20, which is the one you're on. Uh, level 2 is a skill test. You can punch or kick 20 missiles uh, without getting by hit by 3. And level 3 is fight computer AI to 20. What? It's oh, it's three. levels, so you have to beat this guy, and then you go to level two, which really? is which is punching and kicking things flying at you. Oh, which was in a lot of. <sighs> but you haven't done that yet. I hate this. <laughs> I, I hate the controls. It makes no sense to me at all. What? It just it's so Up is... weird. It's like turning around by hitting down and then jumping, and then sometimes because when you, you need to back when off. you when you hit down, yeah, and you hit the button, you turn around. Oh, you have to do it at the same time. No, but it, it or down sometimes and then the sometimes it turns around. Oh no, the and button sometimes... then down. Try that. No, that doesn't work. Uh, it's it's there you it's go. just super strange. I, I just I'm not a, <laughs> I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of the controls and and. G games on this on the Atari and C64 were always difficult to make well, with one button. Always. It's, it's almost like um. I find some of these old games they they don't have. Well, it's not an old game, but... Yeah. No, 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 but I mean, old older systems. style older style systems and games yeah. use very sort of unusual controls sometimes. Oh, yeah, yeah. To get around. He's a very quick, reactive player. Yeah, well, he's a very good... <laughs> much better than I am. I can't quite... Uh... Oh, you're going again? Okay. Wow. Um, Arena Foot, uh, let's see. Um, so this is first posted January... I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> I don't think I've ever sneezed on the show. Um, so this is made by Edward Smith, a.k.a. E.A. Smith. This is first posted January 24th, 2019, and this build is from a couple days ago, May 15th. Camera. Oh, it's getting in the shot again. Terrible. It's falling down. Yeah, and I can't tighten tight enough. I have to look at that. Um, size is 8K. Other games are Alien Attack, Alien Revenge, Kung Fu Combat, and Pickle. And uh, some early binaries of this game are available in the forum. And this will be available summer 2019 at Good Deal Games. And Michael Thomason uh, wanted me to pass along that even though Good Deal Games says the website, uh, the store is closed, it won't be closed forever, and it's just shut down right now due to technical issues and personal issues. And that the homebrews will be re reopening down the line. Um, EA Smith posted recently in the forums that uh, back to Arena Foot. Arena Foot asked, "Was blocking added, as suggested by Zero Page Homebrew?" Oh, I thought there was some form of blocking. No, oh. um, 
as suggested by us. And uh, EA Smith said no, but I did realize I posted the wrong. Oh, never mind, brother. I did change the game default to continuous fighting versus reset positions. Ah. Yeah. I think the ability to block would make it too easy to defeat the computer opponent mm. based on how the AI works. You could sit in the block position and just wait for the computer to kick. Then you could counter punch and score. I spent a long time to ensure that there wasn't one move or strategy that would work every time. Well, you're doing way better now. Not you really. found a hack? Found a no. way through? No, but I'm being more deliberate in how I'm um. attacking him. Um, so game three is a two-player game. Players reset to starting position after score, fight to 20. Game four is two players as well. Players do not reset to the starting position, fight to 20. So I wonder if he retained that for the two-player games. He probably did. Um, so you get more points for punching him. Three points. Really? A high, uh, three points for punch. High kick is one. Low kick is two points. And jump kick is one point. There's also game five, a mini game. Skill practice. How many of the 99 missiles can you kick or punch without getting hit by three? Oh, you almost beat him. No. Only you've got a couple more points. Oh. oh. Okay, my turn. There you go. Uh, I would need to adjust the <sighs> microphone here. This is causing trouble. Yeah, that's weird. Why is it not sticking? This, these pads need to be cleaned or something. Oh, uh, okay. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, stay. I'm putting it up extra high. So if you can't hear us, I mean, it's a good microphone, so it should be fine. There you go. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> so punches are worth more. Ugh. So down. But you have to get closer to punch, so I think that's the, it's the just challenge. In. Okay. I got him. Mm -hmm. Got him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> got him. Hacking, hacking. Oh, oh, he got you. Got him. Just keep running and hitting him. Just go go round and round in a circle. Going backwards. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Yay! There you go. Oh, I have to turn around. Damn yeah. It. Nope. I have to do a high kick. Oh, it's so hard. And that's it. <laughs> I think I'm going to practice the missiles. Can you practice the missiles? Yeah. Oh, what is happening? I think it was game five. That's high kick. Yeah. yeah. That's punch. Low kick. See? Oh. See? See? That's the challenge you of the You have to do both kit. at the same time. Ah! Damn it. Ah! <laughs> Okay. There are you doing that right now? Yeah. It is challenging because you have to think. Do I have to turn around? Do you move? No. No. Maybe. Oh my god, they're coming faster. Do you have to hit 20? Uh, 99. This is practice. This is practice. In the actual game in level 2, you have oh. to only get 20. Oh, I see. So now I'm going to do the actual game. And punch him a lot. <laughs> uh, what's happening? How come I'm not doing it? He's learned. He's learned. <laughs> he's, a, he's evolved. Oh, he has. <laughs> like, look at him. I know. Come on. See, you're, it's not. It's not oh, there, oh, we go. there you go. Oh, oh, he got you. See? Not easy. Not easy. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the controls. It's, it's, it's counterintuitive to what I want to actually do. Eh, yeah, it's fine for me. Mind you, I was never a Mortal Kombat person either, so... <laughs> well, neither was I, that's for sure. That's just button mashing, and I guess there's there's codes you memorize. But oh, so many, and that I, was the I problem. Just, I just can't memorize a hundred moves. Yeah, it And they're all, like, thing. super combo moves. Right? Oh, I'm not doing well this time. Oh, my goodness. Terrible. Mm. Let's try this again. Get him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's... Oh my he's evolving. God. My strategy is failing now. <laughs> okay, let's try something else then. 
come he can get me when he's that close? That's that that's kind of my point. See, he's he's already got you. There you go. So what is 21. he doing? Twenty one. I know. Blackjack. I think I think the house always wins. I think if you both hit at the same time, yep. the point defaults to to the AI. So it makes it harder. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> better. Yeah, you you did it relatively easy the first time around. <laughs> Beginner's luck. <laughs> Sometimes that's the case. Pretty uh, pretty good uh, sprites. Oh um, yeah. Of, uh, characters, that's for sure. Good because he's got four colors on the same line so that's why there's a little bit of flickering but yeah, it's not but that's distracting okay. i don't i don't think it's distracting i love um mount fuji in the background there too yeah that's pretty good let's be a little bit higher though i think <laughs> but maybe it's off in the distance mm -hmm. oh no no <laughs> i have to at least make it to I think he if if you both connect at the same time I think you're I think right he wins. That I he think he wins. wins. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Woo. Ah. <laughs> guess you could do that but you don't get a point for it that's the thing no you can panic and hit up so <laughs> yeah, panic. that would be me i'd just be panic. jumping them all <laughs> i'd be on the level for for the next two years oh, it's gonna get fast now yeah i mean you could just face one direction and jump all the ones that aren't near your direction too if you really wanted to can you jump the high ones though i wonder i think you can but i don't understand let me try and jump the high ones how many are you supposed to hit 20 i almost made it yeah but oh you only get three hits yeah uh, you get like three lives oh, i have to press the button reset is actually reset the whole thing okay oh yeah i was trying to jump oh you could jump so that might be a that might be a thing a to tactic, do. So let's yeah. try that. So I'll, everything that comes on this side, because that saves a lot of time of turning around. Yep. And turning back. Still have to get used to it. And and it's pretty easy to jump them. Mm. They're not fast yet though. No. I'll see when they get fast. I think they get fast at 10? That would make sense halfway through. Yeah. Yep, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Panic. Panic, I did. Panic jumps. Ah! <laughs> Even the jumping yeah, tactics. Yeah, you can. But it, it's two moves to turn around. It's only yeah. one move to jump. Yeah. So that is a, Easier. It's a way better tactic. Yeah. Nineteen. <laughs> Twenty. Okay, so I can do it. Okay, let's do it. Um, Dan ABC says, looks like a good game. It is a very good it game. Is, it's, it is. Yeah. Um, it takes, the controls take getting uh, used to. I'm not saying that's, that it's necessarily bad, but it does take a little uh, bit of getting used to. And the, 
player, uh, the computer is really good. Yeah, which is good. It's good for yeah. for games like this because you don't it's want it to practice. be too easy, too easy. You want to get repeat value, oh repeat my play out of it. If it's too easy, then it definitely you'll never go back to it, right? But I am inclined to just punch him because <laughs> it's the most points. Why not? You can duck the upper upper kick if you if you go down. Mm, yeah. Whereas you can't really duck anything with a punch, so I guess maybe that's why. Ah, uh, you can jump over a punch though. I'm gonna turn around because I practiced on the right hand side. <laughs> <laughs> Do what you know. Yep. And he does stay in the air long enough to jump over the slow ones. Mm -hmm. He did for the, the fast ones, too. I mean, it may it's get even faster, fast but yeah. Uh, maybe, but it's still only 20 here, so. I love finding little, little hacks <laughs> <laughs> for games. It's always some little thing you can do that maybe they didn't think about. Or not. I mean, you can jump over them. They could have totally made it allowed. so you can't jump. So. Well, that's true. They could have disabled jumping yeah. in this part. Absolutely. Ah, oh, no. Ah, ah. Turn around. Panic. Ah. No. You panic jump. You don't panic hit. <laughs> panic jump. Panic jump. Always panic up. Panic jump. I think you get smarter every time I win. Maybe. <laughs> He's jumping a lot now. That's good AI when you start attributing to the oh, AI yeah. it evolving based on your tactics. So. Oh, he's getting you. Getting oh you, getting you, getting you. Yeah, just standing there. You can't not stand a there tactic. because, like I said, I'm pretty sure the house wins. It's it's It always goes to uh, the back. Steven backpack. Seagal. Yes! Yeah, with yes. that ponytail out the back. That's yeah. awesome. Young Steven Seagal. Yeah. Well, the, you know. Depending on ah. depending on the depending on the um, the <laughs> movement, he does look like he has a bit of a paunch, you know. <laughs> it it yeah. could be him. Oh no no! Come on, there we go. Yeah, when he's in the air or he's running, he does he does kind of hunch over a little. He needs to get away from that edge. Get out of the way. It's hard to do the <gasps> judgment. Damn it! Damn it, 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 it. Okay, we're going to play two player. Two what you, player. What do you uh, want? Which uh, joystick do you want? That one? Uh, whichever you want. I, I'm fine. If you're more comfortable with this one, I can use the other one. I'm fine with that. Okay. Oops. Okay, two player. <coughs> Sorry. Ready? Okay, I am the orange. Yes. You are the white that for all the correct. people watching. Oh. Oh. I don't like the I don't like the delay. <laughs> 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 I mean there has to be a delay because otherwise you just go kick 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 kick. Oh, come on. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rena Foot! Welcome. Oh, oh, what? Resets oh, it resets. Oh, a... that's right. Yeah. That's weird. It doesn't stay on two-player. Oh, oh. Ah. Oh. That was pretty tied. I think it gives it to the second player. I think that's incredibly if it's, mean. If it ties. Turn around. Ah, does pause for a long time. Oh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Oof. How come I didn't get a point for that? Punch you right in the back. There we go.
Ah, <laughs> oh. oh, just missed. Ah! Go. Come on, punch me. Ah. Oh, come on, I hate this turning around thing. <laughs> it pisses me off. <laughs> it's a... It's another thing to, to, to have to deal with. Oh. <laughs> Do you have a survival guide lost lost of list? Do you have a survival guide list of the homebrew for the 2600 yet? Oh, no, I don't. I should make one of those. But it would be so biased for what I like. I mean, it, like if, if I made a list of survival guide, of mm -hmm. like the, the best of the best, I would have to make it by um, genre, right? Best shooters, best platformers, but that... That would be a very fair way of doing it. Yeah. Because if somebody likes platformers, there's the platformers. So maybe a top but you, three of each category. Yeah. But I, I mean, do. you have you have categories that you like playing. Like you love yeah. platformers and there are yeah. certain types of games you really enjoy. And shooters. Shooters. Yeah. Shooters yeah. and platformers are your two favorite genres yeah. of games. So. Yeah. Yeah. But um, there's other games too. Puzzle games. I like the puzzle games. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Um, uh, Twitch type games. Where you have to be just fast movement. Mm. Um, let's see if there's anything else that we miss trying on this. It's actually a pretty good two-player. Um, it's quite a different game when you're playing. It a, is playing yeah. a, a human. Yeah, I think I think because the AI is quite challenging and yeah. weird, and and but playing each other I think is more fun. This is one of those games that's really fun with oh, two people. Oh, you didn't play the challenge mode, did you? No. There you go. What's the challenge mode? Oh, where you have to kick and punch things as they fly at you. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, this is going to be terrible. Up. I haven't... It's kick up, kick down, or punch. Oh, see, now it starts over. Uh, bug. Hope they catch that one. Before it goes to cart, up kick, or jump. <laughs> Panic jumping. <laughs> There you go. Oh, not fast enough. <laughs> See, I tried to hit the button. <laughs> oh, Arena Foot has his favorites um, highlighted on his list. Oh, and two-player games. That's another good category. There we go. Yeah, jump. <laughs> I, I just, I want to hit the button to jump. It's just my instinct, so. I'll get it built. I'll get my proper joystick. My Atari 2600 two-button joystick belt. Because <laughs> it's useful for a number of games, and this is, this one is definitely one of them. Oh, one more life. They're up to eight. High kick. Oh, uh, high kick. They look so close. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to move on to game number two, uh, which is Strip Off 2. And <laughs> after reading the description for Strip Off 2, it's... I thought just skip to the second one because mm. he said it's pretty much the same as the first one. Mm. Um, so here's a joystick for you to play. Hold it down. I didn't, sorry. Oh. Okay. I was drinking when you said that. <laughs> okay. So Strip Off 2 is made by John A. Redder? Reader? R e d e r. Why would you say that? Redders. Redder. Oh, not an S. Redder. Oh, there was Redders. Yeah. In the John uh, Redder. AKA Neuronic. Uh, first posted. I don't know. It wasn't really posted in the Atari Age forums. Mm -hmm. uh, this build is from February fifth, two thousand seventeen. So mm -hmm. two years old. Not that it's old. Four K game. Other games he's made: Handy Pick Hank, Casey's Crazy Nightmare, Keep Away, Shield Shifter, which we played last show, uh, Strip Off, Strip Off Two, and UFO and this is available on the Tactical Neuronic website for free download. Hmm. Did you see the stick paddle combo from Hyperkin? Uh, I think I saw that. Um, people uh, said don't bother buying it. Why did they say that? Oh, because it's expensive and there's cheaper options hmm. and there's better options. Mm -hmm. So everybody just went, why? Why would I buy this? When you could buy like something this used, like mm -hmm. this whole thing used for cheaper than that. And much, much, much better. It's got a good weight to it. Too. Oh, it's wonderful. I love it. Um, I need to buy another one, even though I've got two. <laughs> They're just so good. 
Um, so strip off two, I quietly released this on my website two years ago. He posted this about us playing it today. I'm curious to hear other feedback. Sadly, in their last broadcast, another decade old game of mine, Shield Shifter, followed the much awaited announcement and preview of Galaga for the 2600. <laughs> that was a tough act to follow, yeah. he said. Yeah. yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, I happens. didn't know what game he was going to premiere or how extensive, whether yeah. it was going to fill two hours, which it did. Um, like, I had no idea. So I slotted some other games in, mm -hmm. and I know they were, it was going to be tough for them mm -hmm. after playing Galaga, of course. Um, so uh, go for it. Um, you shoot that green ship before it steals all your things. Oh, it's mean. Uh, 16 modes to choose from. This is a one-player game where you try to keep the alien from stealing all your planetary barrier components. <laughs> You'll need I to don't get it. Shoot it. There you go. Yeah, but you, it, it, you can't <laughs> go back and forth. <laughs> yeah, you You're can. just shooting it on one side of the screen. We have to go back and forth. No. No? You can't go back and forth that fast. Oh. Can you? No, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, Try it's a cute, it. cute idea. Try to do it. Shoot it and go back and forth. <laughs> well, you're not it's too slow. It's too slow. The there we go. Yeah, it it would that sounds very challenging to me. <laughs> to go back and forth and shoot them on both sides, it's almost easier to stay in one spot. The idea was derived from old the old video game ripoff. I mixed it with <gasps> some blockout and space invaders, and this game was born. <gasps> Objective. The game ends when all of your barrier has been stripped away by the alien, or you are shot by the alien's reflective shot in the advanced mode. <laughs> you score one point for each alien destroyed. Hmm. When you're down to 10 Terrible. barriers, chunks on beginner, or 25 barrier chunks on advanced, the aliens double in speed. There you go. Now they're moving. Uh, your barrier gets replenished every 20 points but first, but increases by two for each level cleared. Well, sometimes he doesn't... Oh, he moves up and down to get... Or does he just go up, up, up? I guess you're only defending one, right? Is that easier? <laughs> well, it is. You don't have to move. <laughs> oh, I wish I wish it replenished a little oh, faster. Oh, the Ooh. end. It is challenging. Yes. So let me get some more detailed instructions about the different types of levels. Hmm that are available on this game. Yeah, it's really hard to go back and forth. Is Can you physically do it? You can, but it's it's quite challenging to do. Uh, oh, it's a two-player mode. I'd probably just back and forth, because that'd be... Well, we'll try it after this. Um, player one objective, score points by killing the alien queens. The game ends when you lose all three of your fighter ships. What is this? Three. Oh, this is not the right... Not the right instructions. That's why it doesn't make any sense at all. That's for the last game we played of his. So let's see if there are any instructions that were included. Oh, now I get the name of the game. Strip off instead of rip off. Uh, I see. There's the instructions. Oh, you got 13 points, Arena That's Foot. Terrible. It's terrible. Uh, you'll beat 13. I don't think so. Well, you're already at eight. It's really they're they're not. <laughs> it, I at the the it goes the the shots are so sp spaced out that once you've shot and you miss, it's yeah. like it's too bad. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see, uh, select one, full block sets, easy, supposedly this is the easy game, uh, select two, yeah. slightly reduced block sets, there you go. select three, <laughs> reduced block sets, select four, greatly reduced block sets, this is the easy version of the game. Well, it's just the number of blocks on the screen, yeah. that's, that's not really easy or hard, it just uh, takes longer for you use to use Use left and right them. difficulty switch to give or remove alien advantages, uh, so we're on BB right now. Enemies meet up when there's 10 blocks remain yeah. instead of 25. Yeah. It'll be faster immediately. Yeah. Oh, enemy will not reflect your shots back at you. That's what we're on right now. And A, the enemy will reflect your shots back at you. So, you so we're on the very easiest version of this game. Yeah, but I don't think that's going to make any difference. Mm. It might delay you even further. I think that the, the thing that will change it is the 25 blocks. Oh, that'll just make it Because they'll go faster. go faster. 
Yeah. Uh, fire laser, left, right. Yeah, there's down doesn't do anything. Yeah. Uh, game ridge is an end. Yes. Your barrier gets replenished. At 20. At 20. Like completely replenished? I would say completely, bit? probably just a little. See? So you haven't made 20 yet. No, I, I mean, I'm having trouble. I'm having trouble shooting him oh, like once. Oh, so the once. game ends and goes to the next level at 20. Uh, okay. But when you were down to one block, you were pretty successfully shooting him over and over and over again. So that's almost a tactic. Get as many as you can right now. Maybe on one side like you're doing. Yeah. And then... Yeah. And then get try and build it up to the... Yeah, shoot him on the way back. It doesn't really help though because he will steal those blocks before I can shoot them. When they're when they're paused that that early. But you're just trying to get points. Oh, I know. I get that. It's just it's quite challenging. See, no, because because he will get those blocks. I can't yes. shoot him there. Yeah. So, it's uh, yeah. Well, then I would I, move I wish I wish. Megafire? No. <laughs> no. It just they're so sp sp spaced out. You know they're. The shots. Oh, the once he does that, you could get him each time. No, each time you you try it. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I the shots are <laughs> the shots are very spaced out, so uh, uh -huh. that's what I don't. Yeah, no, forget it. You're only seven away from finishing the level. No, Shoot it's him not seven gonna times. It's not gonna happen. Six times. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Come on, you only have to defend one. No, it's okay. I've already given up. Five times. There you go. Oh, okay, right. let you me go. Add it. You go. <laughs> I know it's probably a lot. I'm gonna to get. Think. Well, no, it's it's this. Uh, if if there was more rapid fire, yeah. See. <laughs> oh my god. Ha <laughs> ha 20. Level two. This is drop back. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that. Just keep moving it up for now. It's super weird. Ah. How's it going? Oh, Level 37. Two. Oh, you've done much better than me. He is challenging. Level three. Oh, see, once you get 20, it does... Ideas. You have to get it before he starts moving too fast. When when he's just on the ends, he he steals the block too quickly. Yeah, he does. But you have to just that's keep it, moving that's back. That's very and challenging. Forth. Yeah. But you have to anticipate how far in he's going to be going. Ah. Yeah. You have to you have to keep tabs on. Uh... And he does move in a pattern. Like he oh, goes he up, does. up a level each time. Each time and and on each side. The, the pacing of the bullets is is what I find challenging. Ah, they're very fast. Like, oh my god. No, you have to get more hits on him on the higher levels. Uh, oh oh mm. my god, just me. Just. Made it. 
would say this is a challenging game. I don't know about fun. I it's find it frustrating. That's frustrating. why I, I handed it over because I'm like I, I'm. It's brutal. It's 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 uh. And you have to go just back and forth, and your eyes I know, are going crazy. I, I just yeah, I don't know. It is challenging. I'm sure it appeals. It will appeal to some, but to oh, me, yeah. it just feels frustrating. Like, whereas the fighting game, even though the controls are challenging, it's still very fun to play. Yes. Oh, um, yeah. This one is, is definitely on the frustrating side of challenging. <laughs> and like I said, it's the pacing. Ah. It's it's all about the timing of the shot and the positioning of the alien and, and anticipating walk. how far he's going over and, and when he comes back. And yeah, that's... Something that practice would you you would get better at for sure. Yeah. But it is it is a, bit, a lot of it is a bit frustrating. Yeah, it is. Oh, there well, that we one go. was a bit easier. Oh my god. Ah. says if it supports paddle you'd be able to move side to side much faster paddle would be really good for this game yeah like it would be the the thing to use actually. yeah actually I, I i i agree because then you could go wherever you, you could whip back and forth with a lot of precision yeah paddle is hard i'm pretty good actually mm -hmm. <laughs> way better than i was i was i was just getting too ah. frustrated with it i mean the the thing is, you want to, you have to kill him enough times before he gets down he to gets ten. He gets down to ten. This, yeah, you're struggling this round. <laughs> I am. I haven't got him at all. moving fast. Okay. Defend. Uh, and that was very good. 125. Oh, this would be more fun if the alien only hit one side. Yeah. That, that would probably be it would be less a challenging. good way to do it. Definitely it would be yeah. less challenging. But yeah. Here you go. We're going to yeah. play some var <laughs> variations. Okay. Just so we can see how they <laughs> make our lives more miserable because this is <laughs> oh the, the harder the this har is the easy version yeah well um, it's not easy it's just different yeah okay so uh we'll stay on we'll stay in the full block set okay we'll go to speed up at 25 okay that will definitely and be more challenging. reflect the shots rc70 that was exhausting just watching <laughs> uh it was exhausting playing it yeah. it was it was Ooh, can you hear us color. Oh, so if you hit him, it comes back at you? Oh my goodness. Shoot. Ah, uh, so you can't oh, stay. Oh, and then you're dead. Oh, it's over. Wow. <laughs> so you can't stay in the same spot when you hit him. No. Oh my god, that's brutal. <laughs> so you're like worried about being hit, especially at the low spots. But I mean, technically you should be moving to the other side anyway after yeah, you hit him. Yeah, it's, but it's, you say that. So that's probably it's, to prevent you from staying on one side. In a way, when it gets smaller. <laughs> it's going to speed up pretty soon, I think. Should be down to 25. So this is the 25 speed up? Yeah. I think. <sighs> yeah. Because now it's reflecting shots back at me. Should be 25 speed up, but it's not. I think it's the reflecting shots back at me. Oh, yep. But it said the enemy speeds up when the ah. when the 25 barrier blocks remain. I guess it's down to 25 now. Is so it? It's more than I don't 10. know. It's definitely Is more it? than 10. Can you play with paddles? 
Yeah. Do you have a paddle to, say, to test it out with? It doesn't say anything about paddles in the instructions. I highly, highly doubt it. Um, we can try, but I don't think it'll work. <laughs> it's not so good. <laughs> but we'll give it a try. Just, just, just to rule that out. Because if, if it does support paddles, that definitely would. Paddles would be fun to try. That's not a paddle. That's a driving controller. That's a paddle. <coughs> so, just hold steady there. Hold these. No. I'm going to reset it. Okay. To us, yes, mm. paddles are two in one. Nothing doesn't start with the paddles. No, it should. And doesn't start with the reset. So, no. Unfortunately, it does not play with paddles, which I think would have been a much better decision because you go boom. You boom, have it split boom, though, right? Boom, boom. Does that make a difference? No. Oh, okay. This so, is, if, if it was plugged in directly, they, they go into two, two go into one. Yeah, but you have it split, so is the fact that it's split no, into it's two split. and then split again? That's port one, that's port two. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Never yeah, mind. it's not split. I'm sorry, I thought it was. Yeah. Okay, so I think we've exhausted that game. <laughs> <laughs> and it has exhausted us. Yes. Um, oh, that should be at least turned that way. Um, I guess you guys can still hear us? Yeah. I'm You're just going to turn saying. it up a little bit. Check, 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 check. Test, test. Okay. <laughs> So we're going to move on to game number three, which is Nabber Rob. Oh, I'm so sorry. What are you doing to the cat? I just wanted to bring him over. <laughs> he cried when I picked him up. Oh, he wasn't he wasn't happy with me like, picking no. him up. He was so comfy on the ground. Because he hasn't been on camera, right? No, he hasn't. Everyone, this is Atari. This is our gray cat named Atari. Yeah. Named Atari for no reason at all. None whatsoever. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Fix says Atari. Oh, he's yes. settled. Oh, good kitty. There we go. He's very supportive. The Loon presents... <laughs> this! That's where the... That's where the intro, the intro ends. <laughs> so, this is a brand new game... I don't believe you can download this game. Okay. Um, because it is going up for sale. On cart or? On cartridge. Uh, Pre-orders started on May 13th at the Cote, 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 C-O-T-E, Gamers website and will be shipping in late June. Uh, this is made by uh, Jason Santucci, a.k.a. Jason Shellhorn, a.k.a. The Loon, a.k.a. Gemintronic. Uh, and it was released on May 13th. It's 16K. Other games are massive list, massive list of games. Um, Acid 2, Your Face is Goo, Bacon Blast, Balloon Girl, Bigfoot Boss, BLT Blast, uh, Dead rat of race. Night, Dead of Rat Race, yeah, Rat Race, RVG Blast, which we did play, um, Up a Creek, Up, Up Plus, which we played. Um, so, what is it? Nabber Rob is a tribute to the famous... Oh, they didn't see that at all. Because it wasn't switched over. Oh. <laughs> well, Turn on the game. game! Yes, Atari is a loving cat. Talk through the music. <laughs> you hear it? No. There you go. Very nice. Yes. And now they can, now. now. Now I can say Atari, yeah. yes. He I mean, they got to see cat. Atari in, in full screen. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, Nabarob is a tribute to the famous adventure, a well known game for the Atari 2600. You are a bat, and your master, a sorcerer, gave you the task to bring back all the treasures of the map to the respective chest. Mm -hmm. But beware, you'll have to avoid dragons, to fly above deep, river, deep rivers, well, you'll have to avoid dragons. You'll have to fly above deep rivers, and you'll have to find your way through a vast map under five minutes. Under five minutes? Yes. So it's a timed game. Wow. 
what is in the pack when you buy it? A professionally made cardboard box, a quality made cartridge with a laminated sticker, mm. a 16 page full color instruction manual made uh, including in English and French. So I'm guessing he is French because some of this is not in correct English. Uh, author <laughs> Jason Santucci, I'm correcting it as I go. Uh, <laughs> there's three game modes, controller is a joystick, cart size is 16K. Um, so I will let you. Mm. Well, you've got a cat. I do have a cat. Well, <laughs> I can read if you want to play. I think you will have to read, and I will play this time. Mm -hmm. So let me switch over to the instructions, and let you at them. Never manual. Here we go, and okay. I will set it to B and B. All right. I have never wrong. Oops. La 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 la. Merlin was watching Atari. Merlin is your kitty. Aww. Arena foot. Okay, let's play. <laughs> and this okay. is a branded version of the game. As oh, you can very see. nice. You've, Zero page home. Your, your five minutes is running down. So Navarov <laughs> the Bat oh, is tasked with placing all the artifacts back in their respective chests. Oh, the evil the wizard commands you to do this in under ten magic minutes. Once an artifact is carried, a directional hint towards the appropriate chest will appear during screen transitions. Uh, try to reach your goal in the shortest time possible. Magic minutes may not align properly with actual minutes due to hardware and software <laughs> magic minutes. These are magic minutes. Yeah. So the the one second may not be exactly one second. Right. Uh, notes. Release candidate is not for sale or distribution. Remains property of Geminitronic LLC. Ugh. Colors are in NTSC, although final version will be in PAL 60. Funny. Is that it? Oh, I'm on the river. Keep reading. Uh, controls. Ah. If either difficulty switch is set to pro, directional clues are disabled during screen transitions. Oh, that would make it very hard. Hard mode is indicated by the bat icons holding chalices. Hmm. So I think you're in hard mode. Uh, no. I, are you uh, getting directional cue clues I between am. screen? Okay. I am. Uh, select toggles between three game modes with varying maps. Simple, normal, semi-random. Oh, okay. Uh, game mode number is displayed at the bottom center of the screen. On the uh, title screen. Yeah. Uh, a coinciding number of bat icons appears in the middle. Reset reboots the console. Fire button confirms selections and progresses screens outside of gameplay. In-game in fire allows the bat to fly higher and faster past screen boundaries. Mm. Timer must be purple in order to use this ability. Timer must be purple. Oh, so it runs at, or it has to build back up again. Yeah. Oh, dead end. Uh, joystick D-pad. Press the joystick in the direction you intend the player to move. Pressing against walls can help induce flight. Please note that your bat will sometimes move of its own accord. <laughs> oh, yeah. It is. It's a wild moving bat. Is it? Like when you touch the walls, it yeah. goes crazy and it, starts it, it, it flies. randomly flies in a direction. Yeah. Ah! Dragon. Ah! Like, <laughs> if you touch the walls, it just goes nuts. And and even if you're not touching the walls, it goes nuts sometimes, too. Like, if I when I touched... When you touch anything, it goes nuts. So when you touch... Um, the thing you're trying to pick up, yeah. you go crazy for a second. When you touch the chest, even touching the chest makes you go crazy sometimes, too. Oh, okay. back to the beginning. Three dragons roam the land, each with distinct levels of aggression. Dragons will at times warp around the screen and imitate player movement. Mm. If too much contact is made with the player, it will, be, it, it will be dragged off screen to be randomly placed elsewhere within the world. So the dragon doesn't uh, kill you, it just drags you away. Yes. Eight terrible. items are located in color-coded castles. Only one can be picked up at a time. Eight chests are located in color-coded cavernous screens. Only the matching item may be placed inside them. So oh, okay. you can't place it in the wrong chest by the sounds of things. Okay. Environments. Most screens will consist of open areas with walls that cannot be passed without flight. Uh, even with basic flight, walled-off screen boundaries cannot be passed. Screen boundaries can be negated by soaring. Okay, okay, with the butt. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Okay, so I can get through this wall by Sorry. press the button. 
Oh, okay. That's awesome. Neat. That's uh, very unusual mechanic, actually. Fast moving water areas can be traversed by flight through though movement is affected. Maze screens will confuse the player's sense of direction. Oh my god. Exiting yeah. warps you, exiting warps you to a random location. Castle contains artifacts. Items do not affect players while being carried. Cavernous chest areas provide a drop-off point for an artifact. Each item has its own chest screen. Grassy plains harbor dragons. One of three dragons will always be present. On the grassy area. Yeah. Okay. Yep. It's a red and a green. There's ah, a red again. Ah. Doesn't kill you. Oh, and the yellow usually he drops takes you, you to the maze or he drops you in the river, I found. This is the river. Right away. I haven't found the last right away. the last thing to collect yet. I think the minutes are longer. Actually, it does pause between screens. That's why it doesn't seem as, like, uh, that's why it seems it's taking longer than five minutes. Yeah, because it does pause. Oh, there's, there's a I finished that finished chest, chest, though. Yeah. Screen layout. During mode selection, the current game mode is displayed towards the bottom center. A coinciding number of bat icons are, oh, did I go through that already? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's just repeated. Uh, number of bat icons are displayed in the center of the screen. When the game session starts, the majority of the screen area is nav navigatable by the player. The bottom center timer area shows how many magical minutes remain. Magical minutes are purple if the player can soar. If hard mode is disabled and the player has an item, uh, a direction arrow will appear center during screen transitions. In the bottom timer display area are two yellow rows of dots. Right. Each dot to the left of the timer represents items still unobtained. Each dot to the right of the timer represents items placed in chess. Items obtained but in transit will appear just above the player. Game mode. This game features two hand-designed 256 screen worlds and a 256 screen procedurally augmented map. 256? Wow. No wonder I can't find the last item. Uh, no, oh my number, God. number one is the simplest world map. Each castle is always vertically aligned with its respective chess screen. Right. Chess okay. locations are adjacent oh. to each other. There are less impossible maze areas to get lost in. Number two is ah. normal quest mode. I died. You died? Oh, zero. Ran out of time. I didn't know that. That I mean, the yeah. first ones were aligned with their chests, so I'm going to... Do it again. Do it again. Yeah. Number two is the normal quest mode. Castles and respective chests are located all across the map. The more impossible oh. maze areas are present. Castle and chest locations... Number three, sorry. Ch castle and chest locations are the same as the normal map. Some screens are randomized and may change in subsequent mode three playthroughs. Please note, after resetting or powering the system off, the playthrough count will revert back to one. Mm. Winning condition. Obtain items from castles and place them in their coordinating chest locations. Once all eight items have been stowed away, the game is won. Upon completion, uh, the, there will be an animation. Oh, yay, um, I want the animation. <laughs> pressing fire will return no! to the game mode selection screen. Oh, my God. Oh, there we go. You didn't take me far. The dragon got me when I had the item. <gasps> but the only... You only moved me, like, w half a screen. Oh, what the... Good luck. Go back to the chest. That one's done. That's yellow. That Black. one's done. They're all side by side, so this must be... That one's not done. Easy mode. The dragon, yes. The dragon will get you. Get oh, they're not side by side in the harder mode. Okay. Yeah. No! Leave it. Now I don't know where I am. Probably back. Oh, ah, okay, ah. so go straight up still, I think. I think you just moved me up. Up, so I just keep. Oh, okay. I don't know what's going on, but you said it's straight up from every. Well, chest. usually. There we go. Don't touch me. Yay! <laughs> Tips: Warping due to exiting a maze or being dragged by a dragon can get you to can get to can get you to a desired location. If stuck or simply unwilling to change direction, use the soar ability to negate screen barriers. Mm. Soaring can also give a temporary speed boost to dodge dragons and traverse water. Uh. Uh, the first world map always places castles directly vertical to their respective chess locations. Random screens in game mode 3 change, but castle and chess locations are from game mode 2. So they're just random, but they're still aligned. Like in Okay. They're just random. They're not side by side. Yeah, they're not side by side. Stop it! Yep. Yep. Oh. 
Oh, peach. Green. <laughs> Lots of colors. You're very close. Yeah, I think I've, I have two more items to get. Okay. Very close. There's the chest again. But dragons keep dragging, uh, uh -huh, dragging me off. Away, away with you. Away. Use my flying. Ah, oh, good. Come on. Stop it. The key. Get past these dragons. Ah, oh, stop it. At least I've still got the key and it's telling me where I can go. There we go. Stop it. Still to the right. And down. And down. Good. One more. Oh, I can fly over this. Yeah, but where's the last chest? Damn it. Oh no, the river! It's taking me back. No! The river's right beside a dragon? Oh my god. Oh, which way? How big is this river? There we go. Just need to get somewhere with it. Okay, sure. Dragon can take me there. Missing two items, looks like. Yeah, I'm down to one item now. Because I've got one yellow thing. Now I'm in the maze. Now I'm back at a chest. That chest is done. That chest is done. I'm going to go to the right this time. That chest is done. I'm guessing they're all in a row on level one. That chest is done. Done. Not done, finally. Now if it... As long as a dragon doesn't... Oh, that one's easy. Straight down. Here we go. With two minutes to remain. And I win the golden chalice and destroy the bad guy's castle. Because when I die, my castle gets destroyed, I'm guessing. You win! Hooray! Mr. Fix says, Wow! Oh, Merlin is his daughter's rabbit, not his cat. He was fascinated with that last game and your cat Atari. Well, that makes sense with the last game because there was a lot of movement. And cats definitely uh, like movement. And I guess rabbits, too. Because they, uh, they work off of movement. So, let's play... Uh, actually, I'm going to get Tanya to play this version. Because uh, this one's the easy one. So... See if there's anything missing that we didn't say about this. <clears throat> and it was posted in the forums on May 9th. I'm proud to announce our new game for Atari 2600, Nabber Rob. Still don't know where that name comes from. I guess he's nabbing items. Coming in. <laughs> okay, I've, I won. Look. Oh! I won. Yay! Two minutes left in the magic time. Yeah, not too bad. So, you have to defeat it now. It's not, mm. it's not hard. Mm. Once you understand, every, the items are always above the chests, and, and the chests are always in a row. Oh, no, no, level one. Don't do level two or three. That's harder. There you go. So, there. up to get the item, because it kind of starts you off on an easy level. It says go up, and then there's arrows to go down, and you put it in the chest. Oh. There you go. Now you got one. And it kind of gets harder each chest. There's more screens to go through. That was actually the same. Uh, Never Rob will be available on our web shop Monday 13th. But until this day, let me give you a few details about the game. Your hero is a bat. You have to place all the artifacts of the game in their respective chests under 10 minutes. I guess it's 5 now. Huh? Uh, once an artifact, because 10 was, I guess they figured it was too long. Once an artifact is carried, a directional hint towards the appropriate chest will appear in the screen transitions. Try to reach your goal in the shortest time possible. Want more? Ah. Most screens will consist of... At least you got the item. That makes it really easy. So it tells you what direction to go. Uh, what what to, is to going on here? We'll stop going cross ah. screens. There you go. To the left some more. Oh, he's, he's getting caught on things. <laughs> he does. Why is he jumping around like that? <laughs> Use your flight and you can fly over them. Uh, you don't always have flight, though. <laughs> <laughs> he, because, he does like to jump around. Yeah, it's 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 very strange controls. Like, yeah. it's really weird. But once you understand that he's 
always flittering around, it makes more sense. Moving water areas can be traversed by flight, though movement is affected. So it's, to get out of the water, you definitely want to use your flight. And if a dragon gets close, you should press the button. Floop, 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 floop. There you go. Another one. Is that your third, I think? You can fly over that. No, unless you can't. <laughs> no, maybe at the far edge. You can. No, it wasn't letting me. All the chests are in a row. Keep going. Stay on the chests. Are they all in a row? Yeah. On all level, of them? On level one. Yeah. Oh. Keep going to the right. There you go. There's a green guy. Maze screens will confuse the player's sense of direction. Exiting warps you to a random location. Oh, exiting the maze takes you to a random location? Yeah. Wow. Cavernous chest areas provide a drop-off point for an artifact. Each item has its own chest. So you were saying the item is the same color as the chest? Is that uh, how it works? Yes. Oh, okay. Not the item. The, the castle is the same color as the chest. The castle is. So you have to memorize the castle color? Because the item is different on. color. You're in the river. Continuous? Continuously? Um, no. There you go. The river is Where not the small. Heck am I? Oh, he keeps knocking me somewhere. It seems like there's only supposed to be three dragons. Why? But no, there are three dragons, but there will always be a dragon in a grassy area. Oh, I see. So they move between the grassy areas. Dragons will always be present and wait for you. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. It's okay. That one's done. This that one I not. haven't done. So if you get... That one you haven't done either. Okay. So if you get picked up and dragged <sighs> off by the river yeah. or a dragon... Oh, the river drags you you're off. You're going to get lost. And going straight up I is should. not going to help you anymore. You have to find your bearings again. You have to go straight up. Straight up. There you go. So it is purple. Castle purple. The yeah. item's purple now. Is it? Yes. So is the yeah, chest it is. purple? Yes. No, the, no, no, the, 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 the cavern is purple. is purple. Yeah. Okay. Yes. The, thank you, Arena Foot. The, there's See, the, that item's not purple. It's, but it's the, but the, the castle the is. Castle is. Ugh. That's fine. You have, you have arrows. It'll tell you which way to go. Which is super handy. Come on. Oh, really? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. You can move. You're capable. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can do it. Just keep, they keep kicking me places. Yep, the, ah! river, the river and the dragon will ah! take you to another Come location. Come on, I'm back where I started. Oh, not completely. Mm. But stay, yeah, stay in this. Very safe. Don't go up or down. Not intentionally going up. Or down. <laughs> ah, stop it. Um, Arena Foot posted the link to buy this game or to pre-order this game. Uh, it'll be shipping at the end of uh, this month. Oh, there you go. Last item. One and a half minutes. As long as you don't get hit by that dragon, you're good. Come on. You did it! Yay! Got the cup! The golden chalice. Nice. One minute, 17. Excellent. So, level two is... You win! Yay! The... What what is the difference in level two? The the chests uh, are not they're in... random. They're so they're not in line with each other. So you should try level two. Okay, so they are all over the place. Mm -hmm. But are the items still up from the chests? No. So everything. I, I think random. I think they're random. Okay, so you just go everywhere. It's then. more it's more of a challenge for sure. But it still has. So here's a chest. Yeah, oh you can God, go up so from flighty. it. I know. <laughs> I don't think it's necessarily... Oh, no, it's, like, totally different. <laughs> I'm in a maze. Yeah. 
maze with twisty passages that all look the same. So that's a green, like a darker green uh, color. Yeah, so you have to find the darker green one. it is going to the right. So really, you're not even looking for the chests. You're just looking for items at this point. Because the chests don't tell you where the item is. But the items will tell you where the chest is. So. that river helped a bit maybe oh down must be close yay. one yay now i just have to look randomly for items mm -hmm. in 256 spots yep <laughs> definitely more challenging Ugh. oh, oh got a okay. white one. well white. two out of eight well, at least the arrow helps. I think that you can get rid of the arrow too, right? Yeah, and then it's like and nightmarish. Turf. Oh, no. Really does put you in a random spot. Even the key touching the wall makes you go crazy. Yeah. Anything. Look at the little key going back and forth. Flip, 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 flip. Oh, what? Must be down then. Oh, what? Left. No. 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 Stay away from my treasure. Stay. Smog. Yep. Smog. Smog. <laughs> Smog. <laughs> oh, that's nope. a castle. Wrong oh. one. Where an item is, or was. I already picked that up. You can jump over walls. It's purple. Yeah. But then I can't. <laughs> then I have to wait. Yeah, that's tough. They could be really far from each other, too. Completely across the screen. It could be 16. I guess it wraps around, so it would be 8. Up, 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 Oh, up. 8. So be, I must be very close, then. Yay! 2. Yay! Woo! And also, I haven't encountered any other items while carrying the items. While carrying them, yeah. So, this is a nightmare. <laughs> nightmare! <laughs> See, but this is a much more challenging level. Because the other one wasn't too hard to... Oh, there's there a green. Go. Got a green. Challenging and... Get up. <laughs> <laughs> no, which way did it say? Right? Yeah. Right. Challenging in a way that is not like you can't... You, you don't know where things are going to be. Get over. You can't. Fly. If it's not purple, you can't. But you can induce it. Yeah, but it has to be purple. But if you run into a wall... It oh, you starts can... flying, oh, right? Oh, but so I thought you, you can... had to soar to get over it. Um, it it's both purple. the same thing. Oh, okay. So if you run into some, it'll start you flying. Um, so if I, like, accidentally gotcha. made myself fly, You're I can like... fly through things, right? Ah, uh, I see. Interesting di interesting way of... Uh... Yeah. Like, yeah. That's a very, very interesting game mechanic. Like, I don't... I've never seen that in a game. No, but it's kind of nice. It adds a little a bit. It, it, it adds a little bit of... Uh... Oh, I have to go through this wall. What no, turns purple? <laughs> your time turns purple oh. when you can soar. You might have to go around. No. Or bounce off the walls. There we go. There you go. Oh, oh. Flippy. Flippy, flappy bat. Hey. Yay! Three! <laughs> and my time is way down. Way down. Based on averages, I will lose. Into the river. It's randomly transporting me somewhere else. I think it would be handy if, like, areas were color-coded. Like, areas of the map, maybe? Or if, if it just had, like, a general positioning. Like, not showing the map, but showing where you were. So if you get right. kicked off, suddenly you're in the top right corner. You're like, oh, crap, I'm in the top right corner now. That'd but, be interesting, yeah. Yeah, without knowing what the actual map is. Your Count Von Count in, in bat, bat form. form. One, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I'm counting the, counting the items that I'm getting. One item. <laughs> you got good at that voice from that uh, terrible old TV show, right? No. Uh, yeah. I worked with somebody who was from. Um, nice item. From Romania. 
and that's the accent. He really had the true Romanian he, accent. Wow. He had the Dracula accent. He had the Romanian accent. Wow. Oh, there's another item. I wonder if it flickers. No, because it's on top of me. That's right. Mm. But I have to remember that. Yeah. It's right there along this purple wall. <laughs> I guess the purple corridors take you to the items. <sighs> oh, yeah. I'm close. I'm close, I'm close, I'm close. I'm going to fly over this. Ugh. Ugh. Up close. and over, up and over. Come on. 30 seconds. I'm not going to win anyway, but come on. Oh. Have to go around. How long does it take? Yeah, but sometimes you can't go through. If I could fly... I, now I'm going back down. I can fly now. Oh my god, how far is this? 16 away? Oh, now it's to the right? Oh my god. Have I been going the... What is happening? No, you had to go down. What? And up again? I think I'm... Oh my god. Now I have no idea. Ah. Uh. I think that's doable, but not enough time. I don't think there's enough time for that. And then the last one well, is just... Well, if you get lucky. Yeah. If you get lucky. The last one is just like random like everything's random that seems like everything's random uh no uh the last one uses the maze from the first level was it oh okay but so no, no sorry the position of the castle and the items are in the same place yeah everything else is random oh okay. level one is the same map every single time so there could be a river in between yeah you it's the same map every well, single that's time. worth trying that yeah that's worth trying actually because that seems easy, but I see it, how it could be hard. Oh, look. River. Immediately. It's more random. Oh, yeah. this is going to be insane. Yeah. I just need to find the first chest. Yeah. And then I'm kind of okay. You can, you can shift Because along. all the chests are in a row. More or less. So right now I'm just flying wherever. Hi, dragon. Hi, Tari. How you doing? He's got his paw on your arm. He's very excited to your see. Your brother has to go in for a checkup tomorrow. Make Aww. sure his all his, his teethies are okay. Stitches healed. Oh, oh. Poor you're gonna kitties. be crying for him. He'll only be gone for an hour, probably maybe two hours. Okay, now we're good. We go straight up, and there's walls. Yes, of course, and rivers that have transported me who knows where. Okay. Just keep yep. going up, though. Eh, but oh, yeah, I, I guess you don't know where you get. I could be one over. I could be two over. Mm -hmm. Okay, the river. Oh, my God. <laughs> Never mind. This yeah. is not as easy as I thought it might have been. Because of oh, the river. there's a chest. Yeah, there's a river straight up. Oh, look. So we're, what? What? I just went left and then right. Yeah, but go straight down and see if the uh, chest is there. And the same thing. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe Everyth it is all random. Every screen is random. Maybe it is random. How are you supposed to ever get the key back? To, you you like, follow look, the arrow. That was blue. Oh, no, those are yeah. the same. Let me just follow the arrow. Hmm, weird. Stop flittering. I'm fluttering. Oh, oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. The Up. river's everywhere. Up. is nightmarish <laughs> nightmarish well it feels kind of random you just keep that that's random again it just changed from a very complex maze to this open room oh so every room is 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 yeah. random yeah. no no every second room is random hmm. what what is happening things are changing every time i go into a different room yeah oh. it's just totally random it's totally random that's I the rooms are random but maybe not the, the placement the of the chest in the castle yeah so what you're going sense. to run into is going to be random so the arrow should be telling the truth oh no I can't go up there I gotta go over this way leave me alone leave me alone leave me alone 
I just want to get one. <laughs> one item. Okay, up. Up. Please. No rivers. <laughs> just keep going up. Oh my god. Oh, now you're going right. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like it's like, go left, go down, go right, go up. Come Look! Up. What? No, no, no. <laughs> I didn't run into a river during that time, and it started to... Sh no, it but said mazes, go right and then left. Yeah. Are the mazes, like, messing with me? The mazes can, too. Uh, I don't know how anybody could finish th this version of the game in five minutes. I can't even get one. One key. With the arrows. And there's options to not even have arrows. Yeah. No, no, no. It's impossible. It's impossible. Level one's a lot of fun. Yeah, level one's really good. Because there's... You can... It's achievable, but there are barriers in the way. There's rivers, and there's dragons that are flying you all over the place. And you have to fly over barriers and things. This one is nightmarish. <laughs> oh. Does it even matter? Like... Like, going left... Going up. There it is. Finally. Woo, one. <laughs> but seriously. Okay, so that took three minutes and 15 seconds. Mm. Hi, dragon. Take me somewhere. Take me anywhere. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yay, a chest that I just completed. <laughs> Funny. It's so weird. I just don't get it. I guess it is a challenge. It's a crazy challenge. So you can kind of induce flying. But it's not long enough. It's not real flying. It no. only does it for a second. It doesn't get you through the wall, it no, seems. No, it's not enough. <laughs> Headless. I'll run out my time on this one. Just, just because. Why not? It's only five magical minutes, so... See, that one takes you right into a wall. Which is fine. Yeah, it is definitely five magical minutes. It's like a, um, a ticking bomb on a TV show minute. <laughs> yeah. Where it's like you have five minutes to defuse yeah. the bomb Dude. in a 20 minute Dude. TV show. Dude. And it doesn't, and Dude. they don't defuse it till the last minute of <laughs> well, the TV show. And it's that's, you're basically, that's like 24. I mean, technically an hour right. passes, but like. Yeah, it's compressed. It's, it's, it's like a day goes by in an hour. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> And, uh, there we go. Very cool concept. Yeah. I really like I the first level. I think it's pretty level. good. The first level is much more doable. And you could yeah. definitely do the first level without the arrows as well. Because yes. Because they are straight down. Yes, 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 yes. You might get lost if you get carried off by a river yeah. or a dragon. And, but but and it's more realistic yourself. that you'd be able to get back. Yeah. yeah. Because then you would just find the chest... Yeah. Um, row, yeah. and then find the proper chest. Mm -hmm. So that is very doable. So, let's take a look at these games that we played today. Yeah. Kung Fu Combat. Mm -hmm. um, very Great cool. Yep. Um, it's challenging, but you do get used to the controls. Yeah, I, I, I mean, that's the biggest hurdle, I think, is getting used to the controls. They're not you what have to figure you out the necessarily... You have to figure out the timing as yes. well when to kick him how close yeah. like when you're playing i'm convinced player two gets the advantage in that game. i am almost certain because yeah. every time it seems to kick at the same time it does have to what it should do is randomly assign the point instead of yeah. giving it to do you player think it's two? already giving always giving it to player it two? seems that way it does seem like it but just because player two is the computer usually yeah but in the two player it seems to give it to player two as well mm -hmm. um i don't mind it if it's the one player game because the computer has to have a little bit of and advantage. I think that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. Bye, buddy. Bye bye. Um, and the items being thrown at you, I think that's really cool. Uh, reminds me of uh, Kung Fu Master, where you're traversing levels and there's things being thrown mm -hmm. at you. You do have to kick things in midair. Um, strip off two. Uh, that was very challenging, <laughs> where the little guy comes in on either side. I thought it was going to be impossible after watching you play, but I actually got to like level six. Or well, something. you did much better. I was like, eh, yeah. uh, I, would, I just kind of got frustrated with it. And, it, so. and it's a 
very Stick like your it. eyes get a little buggy <laughs> after a while yeah, watching trying to yeah. play that because you have to your eyes have to go back and forth back and yeah. forth like that yeah, I, I... um and uh Nabba rob very cool concept. i liked it yeah i liked I, it I, loved, I liked it and the the mechanic of you being a bat and being able to fly over things i like that's really cool. it's unusual and, and yeah. that kind of makes it fun and and the fact that you hit walls and it kind of goes nuts <laughs> means means it's not as simple as room room no. room up up down down it's like you're actually fighting it a little bit as if there's yeah. like a breeze blowing you yeah. all over the place that's exactly what it feels yeah. like which actually gives it a little bit more dimension and makes it a little harder so yeah, yeah you get like used that. to it you kind of just steer your bat after a while yeah you don't really go in a direction you're you just like this way go this way kind of right kind like of left. hurting hurting cats down <laughs> yes. the hallway yeah, it's like on, this come way on. come on come, come on, on. <laughs> <laughs> so a very very diverse interesting mix yeah of yeah. games today that's yeah, for that's sure good. so we have one more um episode before the break uh before we go for a couple weeks break because uh uh, I will be going to uh, Las Vegas, uh, mm -hmm. and we'll be going to Las Vegas, yeah. mm -hmm. and then New York for my uh, film premiere in New York. I don't know if anybody lives in New York, but you can come see me there. <laughs> um, Arena Foot says, some good games tonight. Yeah, very yeah. diverse, a very interesting mix yeah. of games yeah. with a lot of Unusual cool game gameplay. Unusual, unusual game gameplay. Yeah, That's yeah. a really good way I like that. Yeah. to put it. Um, and it's fun playing different games that aren't really straightforward mm -hmm. yeah vegas and new york city cool yeah uh, i'm not a huge fan of uh, vegas but it is cheap and there's some cool things to look at yeah. it's a crazy a crazy town yeah 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 that was fun stuff too um so next episode uh is on next wednesday it's mm -hmm. we're gonna be playing halo 2600 which it's very surprising in the year and a half i have not played halo 2600 because it mm -hmm. was a big big news obviously because yes. it has a huge brand related to it yeah and we're going to be playing uh going for a high score on homebrew 2019 homebrew tournament round three of which i'm the leader in round one okay. and two there number one i cannot guarantee i will be doing very well at this one yeah. even though it is a shooter okay i think other people will do better than yeah me. yeah but i think i'll at least be in the top three yeah I'll, that's your that's your goal that's my goal top at least three. top three because then i can still kind of keep my lead mm. pretty well because you get 10 points for winning and then you know goes nine for second eight for third so even getting top three or top four is really good and then we're on a break and then we'll be back with a bunch of really crazy cool stuff we're going to be looking at two exclusive homebrew games specifically made for the uno cart mm -hmm. which i now have working <laughs> um so that will be very interesting um i'll have to remind the guy to make sure he's still working on it and getting his games ready for the uno cart and then at the end of june is the 12-hour marathon where we're going to be playing tons and tons and tons of, of our favorite games mm -hmm. um, over the past year and a half and some challenges and we'll be doing high score stuff and taking requests from the chat all of you out there and um, also auctioning off some items and doing a whole bunch of stuff in the 12 hours, noon to midnight. So we'll need things to keep us awake and fed and probably order yeah. pizza. I'm already excited for that. the food. Is that the so food. weird? Oh, like, yeah. We'll oh, have to yeah. get some fun food yeah. out here <laughs> to keep us going. Yeah. I'm like, oh. um, and we're going to be playing the with the new Quatari um, for port uh, um, joystick. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we'll That'll be playing uh, a updated, probably final version of Galaga at that point, mm -hmm. or very close to final. All the uh, big bugs will be um, worked out. And with the Quatari, oh yes, oh yeah, with the Galaga, it's going to be two players at once. He's mm -hmm. got an option. So when you get that second ship, the person with the second joystick can control the second ship independently and shoot mm. things up okay so that is going to be amazing and maybe a surprise game on that show too maybe on wednesday's show there might be a surprise game uh we will see if it gets done in time if not it'll cool. be uh flipped over to after the break mm. um yeah we'll be playing the quad games as well mm -hmm. um after the break and uh yeah we'll see what else and of course at some point, Dan Kitchen's game <laughs> will be done, yeah. and we hope uh, pretty soon, I would think. 
but he wants to make sure it's awesome for everyone yeah, out there. Yeah, very cool. Um, and, and I think that's it for now. Mm -hmm. And uh, so thanks for tuning in, everyone. Uh, let's see who's still chatting in the chat. Still hanging out. Dan ABC says, good games, good show. Lots of... Which game... Oh, yeah, which game is round three? It is Space Game, which is a really, really fun shooter with tons, like a very diverse amount of um, power-ups. There's like ten different power-ups. Oh, that's cool. One like double, triples your shots. One makes you slow. Like there's good power-ups and bad power-ups. Oh, I see. One inverses your movement. Oh, my God. So right is left and left <laughs> is right. Uh, oh, I can't remember some of the other one. One makes you just wide. Okay. So you're just a bigger target. <laughs> <laughs> and I think one slows down time. So it's easier to shoot things. Cool. There's like a ton of ton of power-ups. It's a really good um, game. And of course it won for best, uh, I think best Atari Basic Homebrew uh, for 2018 Atari Awards. Mm -hmm. And that's what the whole 2019 Homebrew Tournament is based on, is all the winners cool. of last year's Atari Awards. So it's mm -hmm. all the best of the best of last year, as voted by you. So if you don't like the games, it's all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and Arena Foot is still chatting with us. Dan ABC, I suppose to RC70. Gretums! I appreciate the utter disgust in Tennis <laughs> I don't know what that was from, but in that's In general. <laughs> uh, Mr. Fix, Militant Buddhist, uh, Thunkist, who suggests we try to play with paddles on that uh, second game. Unfortunately, it didn't work. It would yeah. have been an that would have awesome been cool. suggestion cool. for while it was being developed. Yeah. It would have been really, really yeah. good. Um... And I think that's it. And thank you to everybody who's hanging out but not talking. And yeah. thank you to everybody who is watching later on YouTube. Yeah. And make sure you subscribe to all the things. Facebook, mm -hmm. Instagram, all those things. Galaga wins the mid-year 2019 Atari Award Best Homebrew. In my opinion, Arena yeah. Foot says. <laughs> we'll have to wait till the end of the year. Yes. There is no mid-awards. There's mid -awards. lots of options. There's lots of there options. Is a lot there may of be options. A, lot, a lot of new ones coming too. Oh, yeah. So. Lots of games coming Very out. Cool. So And all the work in progress games from last year hmm. get to if they get done in 2019 cool. get, get released again as Yay. new homebrew Yay. um so we've got we'll be back at 11 a.m on next wednesday mm -hmm. and hope to see you all there mm -hmm. uh, so, so thanks for tuning in and have an awesome weekend yes bye-bye have a good weekend <laughs>